Hey guys, Brooks Gibbs at the Dawson McAllister Studios, also the headquarters for the Hope Line. Um, I recently was asked a question, uh, what can I do if I see bullying happen? How can I intervene? And, and uh, it, a lot of people would say, uh, stand up for the victim and uh, stand up against the bully. But the problem that I have with that is that you don't know who is the victim and who is the bully uh, all the time. It's not that clean. Social, interpersonal, relational issues are super complicated. You're not sure who threw the first word or who offended who first. In fact, when I work with bullies, uh, oftentimes they say, I, I'm not a bully, I'm a victim. Most bullies feel like victims and that's why they're mean. So when you see bullying occur between two people or a group of people, understand that you can't just take sides with one or the other. You can't have a judgmental attitude or mindset that says this is an innocent victim, this is a guilty bully. You just have to realize these are two people who have offended each other and you're not sure where it started. So the best thing that you can do is work one-on-one -on -one with the one that you have a relationship with. So after the conflict is over, after you see the bullying scenario kind of play out, when they kind of separate and go their separate ways, the person that you have the relationship with, start talking with them and say, hey man, what did they do to offend you? Get the backstory, not because you're trying to meddle in their business, but with the spirit of trying to help them figure out a way to solve the social problem. And let me tell you how to encourage them to solve it. You simply tell them, no matter what their hater has done, no matter how mean the person was, no matter what the offense was, forgive, let it slide. You know, as long as there wasn't a crime being committed, if the offense just hurt the person's feelings, that is in their capacity to forgive. Forgiveness is simply releasing the enemy from the responsibility to fix the problem. Just release them from the, their hatred, release them from their anger, release them from the responsibility to fix the problem. That's the quickest way to bring peace and harmony in the midst of people in conflict. Always be a person that promotes forgiveness. You're always going to end up in forgiveness. That's what you have to bring them to. Sure, you could have a conversation and say, what is this all about? Why are you guys in conflict? Why are you guys fighting? But at the end of your conversation, you must promote forgiveness. And if you're a messenger of forgiveness, then ultimately you're a messenger of peace. So be a peacemaker. And if you need support, if you need help, especially during the month of bullying awareness here in America, um, I want you to call the Hope Line or visit us online at thehopeline.com.